In today's video, we're looking at making some main room DMB using the DC Brakes Halo Synth. What I've made so far sounds like this. Is worth noting if you were already thinking about picking this up it is $35 right now rather than the $125 so let's quickly break down this little session I've put together right here I've used a couple of loops just to flesh things out or flesh the idea out but anything that's green is coming from Halo so for example kick coming from Halo snare lead bass a layer on the lead bass. Just doing some little funny bits there. The wobbler bass. And a layer I've made on that too. So they all come together like this. And then I've given myself some little backing top loops. Little crash at the start, and just a little reverse hat. It all comes together to make a slamming main room sound, right? So let's have a little look at the tool itself. So if we open up Halo, it looks like this. Now, I called it a synth right at the start. It's really a rompler with loads of samples from the DC Brake guys integrated into this synth kind of workshop. And uh, it's a good bit of kit, a little bit confusing to look around to start with, but full of pretty sick noises. So let's break it down real quick. Across the top is like our FX and filter section. Now you'd normally find that later down, but they're straight into this is the sound design side of it. If you picture sound, you can start designing right off the bat. And that's all right. Now, whatever you select, this middle section here generally changes so you've got more parameters. I'll show you what I mean. If I click on the filter, which has got a set of parameters, that middle section now changes. So I've got some extra parameters that then link into the filter. So yeah, there's a lot of controls on the screen, but there's actually load more hidden. So you know, if I click on LFO, for example, I can redefine and adjust that LFO in far more detail, which is a nice touch and it keeps everything cleared up and you don't have stacks and stacks of pages and the really complex matrix. Whatever you've selected, you've got a little adjuster for. Now the way the sounds are actually built is sort of the third section down. We've got sample, sub and synth. On the sound we were looking at, if I take off sub and synth, as you can hear, it's mostly still there. And that's why I said this is more of a rompler than a synth. It's really, really heavily sample based. If we take the sample off and put the sub in, there's some synth going on with it and Bit of an extra top line with the synth, right? Take the sub away. If I select synth, I've now got the synth parameters here in the middle. And we've got two waveform selections, so one for each oscillator, a blend between the two. What octaves they're gonna play back? Really simple on the synthesis side, but it does the job. And even just the bass and synth, still a pretty fun creative sound. It's the sample that really makes it. So if we hit on presets, we've got a nice little tag thing at the top. So we can tag like a lead and liquid, and it's gonna give us those liquid related leads. And if I select them, it's just automatically gonna change to that preset. Now it's DMB, it's got its own Rhesus tag, which is nice. And there's some really good sounds in here. The one we were actually using for the lead was high tops, modified slightly, so it sounded a bit different now. As you can see, you've got BA or LD, some just quick identifiers as to whether it's a lead sound or a bass sound. But there's some pretty awesome sounds in here to go through, and there's just hundreds of them.
let's take high tops again and look at some of the things we can do to modify it and really make it our own, which is what I'd done in the initial patch. So in distortion, if we select it, we can do some custom distortion. Now there's a warm and dry pre-made distortion essentially, but in custom, we can create our own wave. And the more we apply that, the more savage it gets. It's really simple to make your own wave. You can just double click and add more points in, and it's gonna give you points of distortion and make this new bipolar pattern. Now the distortion's the big thing I found that gives loads of aggression to the sound really, really quick and easy. And like before, we select it and it does its job. Now this one by default has got a peak moving back and forth on it from wherever we put this. And if we adjust that Q, it's gonna just give us a sharper peak. You got that feedback there showing you what's going on. If we look at the filter section, we've got a lot of modulation going on here. Probably thinking, how do you link things up and get them to modulate like this? Well, we can see that it's actually linked into the LFOs. If we choose an LFO here, we can link where it's going really, really easy at the bottom. We can just attach it straight to the notch or straight to the low pass filter and we can see that's now automatically modulating right there. If you want to take the modulation parameters a little bit further, what you can do is right click on the control that you want to link. So for example, let's take the high pass filter just here, right click it. If we add it now to LFO one and head over to the matrix control down here, we've now got a detail control and we can do its min max parameters, whether we want it to be normal or inverted, which is really useful and gives us that extra layer of control in building out our presets. Still get some fun out of it. Something I found really useful as well in really dialing the sounds in, you can actually see on this track, um, it's pretty much just Halo playing with some sidechain compression going on just to control those basses out the way of the drums. I've not done any post effects, it's all just Halo. Um, there's a master EQ in here. So we can just add points and tweak it up as much as we want. Now, a key thing I did on my version of the patch was I actually had a nice big bump here just ripping through. <laughs> Overall, if you're doing some main room DMB, this is a pretty awesome rompler. The sound set it comes with is tuned so well that you can very, very quickly get really sick sounds going. As you can see, once you've loaded the sound you kind of like, it's really easy to tweak it, make it a little more your own, but it's already incredibly usable in the type of genre it is. So I would say if you're doing main room DMB, you don't like to spend forever in a day tweaking a synth to get that big aggressive sound, this is an awesome go-to, especially at the price it's on at the moment of me putting this video out. I hope that's been helpful for you guys. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care.